What's going on guys and for the win here we are back with our franchise mode as the New York Rangers We're picking up where we left off here But before we get into uh, the free agency or anything like that We have a couple things to do first and foremost We're gonna read off uh, the winners from uh, last year's point. Well, actually the winner from last year's uh, it was Adrian Baggio, or Baggio, we guess, the team forward. Uh, Hughes, which was correct, even though we picked up line A, Hughes was the next guy in line. So we, you know, said that, obviously. We weren't, we weren't expecting to grab line A. <laughs> and then league defense was uh, John Carlson. I uh, guess Tendy Gibson, that was not correct. You'll also see, yes, it does say his comment was edited, but I did see it on the first day when he did make the edit. So, uh, he's not, you know, obviously... He's, he's not going to be docked for having it edited and... You know, me thinking that he changed that after he saw, you know, the actual point results and stuff like that. But yeah, just a uh, a reminder for those. I might not always be able to catch that when you edited it. So just for safety, for your uh, for your suggest or guesses, whatever, for the uh, little contest thing. If you do make a mistake, I would suggest just deleting that comment and then making an entire new one because if it says edited, people may think that you know you went ahead and changed them to correct answers after the fact, after we saw the, uh, you know, end point scoring results and things like that. So, anyway, a little PSA right there. Now, another thing, I was asked to check out that uh, franchise goaltender that went in the last draft, so I already went ahead and turned back. I think he went to Vegas, right? Yeah, I went ahead and turned back on the, uh, the stat stuff. <laughs> 58 franchise. I was thinking he might be higher because he went earlier, but 50, I mean, 58 ain't bad. He's close to 60. Like, that's still good, and it's a franchise goaltender, but yeah, I was expecting him to perhaps be, uh, to be, maybe be a bit better, like in the 60s or something like that, but that's not really anything much. I mean, didn't our guy start around that overall? And we got him in like, whenever we got him, I forgot. <laughs> I, I'll have to, well, I'll check, hold on, and I can't remember exactly the overall he started at, but I know it was pretty good, yeah, we, oh, we did get him in the first round, never mind, he might have been around the same overall, though, but still, 23rd versus 11th, like, if a goalie's going 11th, man, I'm thinking he's gonna be 60s, you know, at least low to mid 60s, he's not far off, but still, I expect him to be a bit better than that, all right, anyway, so free agency, I'm not too sure what we need or if we need anything. Probably not. I mean, we definitely don't need any of the big names in there. We can't afford any of them anyway, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, we really don't need them, especially after acquiring Line A, all our young guys coming up. Really not. Yeah, not really what we need. So let's let's take a look and we have yeah we have just tons of young guys coming up I really don't think we need anything here in free agency I could be wrong but I'm gonna check everything but I'm pretty sure we're set we got Hughes line a byfield still have Hoffman um Howden five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve well maybe a fourth liner because Gattinger is still, I'm not a huge fan of his defense. Only 82 awareness. You know, I did sign him for another year, but mostly so he could play NHL. But let's maybe look for like a right wing, a right wing forward here. Hold on. Wait, it's not showing Eichel, is it? It's not. Where is Eichel? Nope, it's not showing Eichel, so we do not need a forward. Well, we have 12, but we, we'll need a depth forward. That's it. Yeah, it's, it's actually, it's not showing Eichel at all. So that's part of, uh, part of what's going on here. He must be listed just as, no, it's on the trade screen. Why the fuck isn't it showing him? I am confused. It's literally not showing him here. I'm not missing it. It's he's not here. Is it because he just signed an entry level? Like that would make sense. Okay, that might be the reason why. That's the only thing I can think of. Because I'm trying to freaking figure out my team here. It's not showing him. 
And this is harder because, well, they might not all be on the same screen. Because he might have to switch to there. No, he ain't there. Okay. <laughs> What the hell? Does it have him in the juniors? Or so? Oh, that's why he's freaking. Yeah, I forgot. I know I have the overall turned off, so he's not gonna show up here. Herp derp. Okay. <laughs> it's prob. It's probably no. We have him as an elite, so he would have showed up on the trade screen, though, right? Who knows? Anyway, but yeah, Eichel. That's twelve. So we need a. <laughs> we need a depth forward. And defensively, I think we're <clears throat> really set. And we got seven dudes here. And other guys who could probably be NHL ready here. Yeah, we'll have Pissick down. That works. Hayek. I think he's kind of pretty much done growing where he is. So I can honestly play him AHL for a bit. And it not, won't really affect him. I mean, I think we just got better options here. Nakis, even though his awareness is lower, he does have the low elite. I kind of want to, you know, use him more. Jilson, we obviously want to use, and then I guess Forbert will be depth again. Probably. Yeah, that's what it's looking like. <clears throat> God damn, something the hell's wrong with my throat. And then goaltender-wise, I think I'm going to hold off. You know, we got Schlemko, we have Georgiev. Either of them could be backups. And then either of them could be an AHL starter if needed. So I think that's kind of, we're, we're kind of fine on everything. All we need is a depth forward and that's it. So yeah, let's spend a bit of money on a depth forward and then be off. Because we do not need anything else. Now, I could trade to Foley and grab someone like this. Always a possibility. Tofoli ain't getting much done. But these aren't really incredible options either. So I'd rather make a trade if we need to down the road. That's kind of what I'm after right now. Yeah, because I'm not extremely thrilled with this crop of wingers in free agency. Huberto's the best one, but he could, he wouldn't really be playing where where we need him. So, I think I'm just going to hold off on that, and I'm just going to pick up a depth forward here. Because I'm really, like I said, I'm just not thrilled with what's available here. So, we're going to look for a depth type guy on our forward end. And uh, take it and run, essentially. Felino's still there. I don't know if they will get anyone actually listed as depth. If we can get someone listed as fourth, then they'll be okay. Brock Nelson? Nope. Cop. Hmm. Awareness is good. Nothing else is. Salamaki just could be better. Third. Oh, it's Hayes. That's why. <laughs> He's demoralized. Uh, I might go a bit higher. Yeah, screw it. Let's go higher. But Toronto, he's decent. We did have Felino. I might just get Felino. Because he's pretty damn good. I mean, he's kind of the best we're going to find. 84, 84, and 86. That's really the best we're going to find. Plus, he has 79 face-offs. He can play center if he needs to. I'm going to grab him. There we go. Let's offer him that. We'll save the rest of our cash. And we will be uh, making some changes here. If we uh, see fit. Alright. So there we go. Let's advance a couple days. Make sure we could uh, lock him in. Oh yeah, these are my scouts. Cool. I did find two uh, better Scandinavian scouts. Or... I think they're both better. One was the, no, yeah, they're both better Scandinavian scouts, and I found two A or A pluses for the USA scouts. So, yeah, we definitely improved. All right, Felino has accepted the offer, and now we are done here. Bit of a quieter free agency than last year, that is for sure. But 
you know, none of those guys were essential. Yes, I could grab them just to grab them and trade other pieces, but I'd rather just trade other pieces for other pieces that I really want. Because, like I said, and all that, couldn't find something that I really, really wanted. So, yeah, we're going to sim up to uh, next season here. I'll get the lines taken care of, send out the scouts, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, here's going to be our line starting off here. We're going to go with Byfield, Hughes, and Line. Going to see if this line gets stuff going, see if uh, Byfield gets a nice jump. I'm assuming he will. Uh, we'll see, though. Uh, second line of Hoffman, Andernoff to Foley. Now, I'm going to try this combination out because it seemed to work really well with Hughes. Now, Hughes was a bigger shooter, so obviously there's no guarantee that this works out. But we're going to try it like this first. Hoffman, Andernoff, and to Foley. See if that'll do anything. Third line's going to be Morgan Eichel, Leas Anderson, and uh, Vitaly Kravtsov. Now, Kravtsov, he is, I believe, still listed as second line. But we're also going to give him power play time. So he should be okay in this role. And if we need to bump him up, we can bump him up. If we need to make a trade, we can make a trade. But uh, I'm going to try to, uh, you know, we're going to be making probably a lot of line swaps here uh, early on, especially, and then maybe make a trade at the deadline. I want to try, again, to, to fix, you know, to, to solve things internally, definitely. And that's that's kind of the main goal here is to kind of get everything going internally. If, if it can't, if we can't do that, then we can't, you know what I mean? So, but that's what we're going to try to do. All right, and then fourth line, uh, VC, Howden, and Heedle. And then Howden and Heedle both have PK at times, so they should be okay playing on that fourth line. Okay, defensively, Shea, Subban, Latang, Lindgren, same thing then. But now Nakis and uh, Jilson. And depth, we have, oops. <laughs> Still got Neves up here. All right, I need to send him down. And then I'll fix the lines after that. But let me just go through that. We got Fol uh, Forbert and Felino for our depth. Uh, all right, so power play, line A, Hughes, Hoffman, uh, Shea, Subban, then Andronov, Anderson, Byfield, Kravtsov on the point. See how that works out. Uh, penalty kill, Howden, VC, Shea, Subban, then Heedle, Byfield, Lindgren, Jilson. Uh, remember, Jilson's that defensive defenseman, and Lindgren has some pretty damn good stats. So we'll, we'll see. And we got, you know, Heedle, Byfield, pretty good here. I could also make Byfield center, move Heedle up with Howden. But this is why these are actually the forward combinations suggested to me. So I'm going to do that. I just switched around the defenseman a little bit. Took off Latang, added in Jilson. All right. Penalty kill. Uh, three man. Just didn't do the same here. <laughs> Rip. I always forget one or two things. That's just what happens. I don't know. It's just a thing I do. All right. So four on four. Hughes and Lion A. Subban, Shea. Byfield, Hoffman, Latang, Lindgren. And then Andronov, Kravtsov, Nakis, Jilson. And the three on three. Same deal. Extra attacker, line A, Subban. And shootout lineup, line A, Hughes, Hoffman to Foley, crafts off. All right, and uh, Leas Anderson is no longer a presence or anything in the locker room, so Hughes has the A now. Hughes A, uh, Kravtsov A, and then captain is Shea. You guys wanted to see Shea get the captaincy, so Shea has the captaincy. All right, and that pretty much does it there. Um, <laughs> I should probably fix those AHL lines, so give me a sec. All right, so I went ahead and fixed those AHL lines. I realized I forgot to show you the goalies. We're going with Shishorkin and Georgia to start off. I want to get uh, Shlemko scouted as fast as possible. He'll get a lot faster scouted if he's starting in the AHL. And I don't know if he's going to be NHL ready. It might do that thing where he's like at 77, 76, and then it's lying to you. But if it's not, then we should be able to send down Georgia. No problem. He may get claimed. But if he does, it's not the biggest of deals. I don't think he will if we send him down, but he might. Well, not, we never know. But teams usually have plenty of, like, backup type guys, so we should be good on that front. We'll see. Again, I don't know. Anyway, so I think we're ready to get going here. See what these lines are capable of. See if uh, our scoring is capable of having a big old rebound, trying to get as much out of Toffoli as I can so that six mil deal doesn't look bad. Increases trade value. Real life shit. All right. <laughs> so, yeah, let's. we're good to go here. And I am going to actually check out the preseason stats this year. I want to, I want to kind of see it's, it could, it's usually, it's a lot of times it is a lot different than regular season, but I'm still kind of curious. I want to see how the end, the newer guys do really. That's, that's kind of what I'm after here. Really want to see how they're going to do. So we win the first game two to one in OT. Not a great sign for our scoring thus far. 2-0. Defense is looking good, but again, these are not great opponents. There's one good scoring game. We get three goals, lose, but you know what? We got three goals, so eight goals in the last two games. 
looking a bit better. Four goals, okay. Again, these are still these are preseason opponents, preseason lines and things like that. So you can't read too much into it, but it looks at least like we do have the potential to score, which is I thought we did last year, just we could not figure out. You should have seen the fucking best lines this year. Or like when I entered into it, it was weird. It had Byfield on the third line. It was saying to put Heedle on the second line center. It was crazy. I'm not even kidding, man. It was weird. So Line was point a game there in preseason. And it had like Toffoli on the first line too. It was freaking crazy. Byfield had six points. So it looks like the first line worked well together. Uh, s mm, second line kind of hit and miss. Antronov is still still worrying me. With his production here, I'm not going to lie. Still kind of iffy on Andronov. Georgiev. Yeah, Shostorkin did great. Georgiev, not so much. All right, but overall, decent production. I like what the first line looked like they are capable of. And I think our second and third lines should have enough scoring to kind of get going here. All right, I don't know if we'll be fully scouted by this point because it's doing that thing where it's got a game on the... Well, not really. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight games right here. I already assigned my scouts. Get out of here. Eight games. I don't know. I still I don't think that's enough to get them scouted, but we'll see. We had the whole preseason too. All right, so we lose in the shootout in the uh, season opener. Can we come back and score a bunch against Ottawa? That'd be great. That would be nice. Yes, we do. Uh, I'll check the draft class. I don't think you're going to see much yet, but we did have our scouts working pretty early. Playmaker and a power forward early on. That's pretty much it. Yep. Okay. A couple of uh, low elites almost fully scouted, which is great for us. All right, there we go. Two wins in a row. Five and four goals four. That's a good sign, but we did start off pretty good last year, although it wasn't offensively good. Ours is just our defense carrying up. Oh, good. Okay. It's not major. 27th. That's still not good, though. <laughs> that's going to slow down our scouting, too. Son of a bee sting. We got Grow to go in there. Needs an L at the end of his name. Ah, oh, damn it. I was like, is it Dave? Oh. <laughs> Unfortunate. All right. Can we still continue to win here? Yes and yes. All right. Have not scored less than three goals in the last four games. Oh my goodness. Look at us go. There we are. This is this is the start. Now this is a start, guys. This is what I'm talking about. Line A against his old team. Beat beat him. Four to two. We have not lost in regulation yet. Schlump goes back. Good. Get back in there. Yeah, this guy might actually be NHL ready. We'll see. We shall see. All right, one more game here. Oh, you want to give us... <laughs> they're, still, they're still selling. No, I don't need Kyle Connor. Ah, tough loss right there in reg. But 6-1-1 one one to start things off. I don't know if we have everyone fully scouted yet. But Hughes is leading our team in points. There we go. Yeah, by the way, make your predictions. <laughs> I think you all should know the damn formula by now. Five points. You know what? That ain't bad. Five points for him. Six points for Andronov. This is good. Okay, okay. That's decent production. Eichel's got two points. Lees has got three. This guy's got two. Goal and assist. He's down to back down to 81. Yeah. He might just <laughs> turn into kind of a third liner, which kind of sucks with his freaking high top six, but we can use him as such. He's good. He's, mm, he's okay enough defensively. But he's got really good offensive stuff, and he shoots a lot. So he's a good utility type guy to have. Ooh, five points. Four points. Wow, fourth line getting some numbers. I like that. Ooh, Eichel's actually listed as depth. I was not expecting that. I thought he'd be listed as third line scoring line. You know what? I might have, I'm going to have to move him. I don't, I don't want to give him too much ice time. I want him to grow. Damn, dude. I can't, yeah, we already played a certain amount of games. I don't think I can send him down to the juniors now either. Well, whatever. I'll play him on some fourth line. He's a power forward. He'll be fine there. Look at that shot, though. Really likes Hughes. That could be very good for us. Likes Kraps off Georgia Evan Lee. Saying, oh, man. Now I kind of want to leave him there because he's playing with him. All right, fine. I'll leave him there. You guys can let me know. Should I play him fourth line or just leave him third line? Uh, anyway, 
pretty much everyone is scouted here. Nakis is an 82. Man, this is top four. Doesn't have any special teams time. Yeah. Latang's down to an 85. His potential is now top six, so we likely will decline a bit more this year, which is not amazing, but, you know. Okay, jilson has got PK time, so he'll be fine there. Nakis doesn't have any special teams time, so I might want to move him up. Lindgren has PK time, so let's do that. I want to, I want to try to get this guy to grow, too. So let's see how he does. Oops. How is his defense? Not as good as Lindgren. Yeah, it's two defensive defense in right here, too. Usually not the greatest of combos. I like to have D in two-way. But we'll, we'll see how it works. You never know. Yeah, Shostorkin's an 86. So he's I think he's done growing, but he's an 86 and he's doing really good. And if he continues this, he'll get stat growth. Uh, Schlemko, back up at 78. I think that might be actually real and good enough for... I don't think they're lying. If it's at like 76, 77, I think they're lying. But 78, I think that is good enough for backup. George Evans, oh, he's doing so good though. I'm going to have to let it go for a bit longer. I just want to make sure. Shlumko's not doing amazing down there in the AHL, so that doesn't warrant a call up yet. So I'm going to give it another, uh, another, another little month here. Yeah, let's, let's finish this off. But I, we're, we're doing good right now. 6-1-1 is a great start. And we're scoring a really good amount. So if we can keep that up and keep up that offensive production, I think our defense and goaltending will take care of it. But right there, we falter. Two games where we don't score a lot. Are we going to do this again? Lose right there. We get a point. We scored three. But we need more, guys. We need that defense to tighten up as well. I don't, I'm not, I don't know if it, I like those defensive changes right now. Holy shit, now we're not scoring. There we go. Okay, I slumped. Brought it back. Come on, guys. Don't make me hate my change. That one change I made to the defensive pairings. Bring it back to where you're at. Come on now. Uh, Hajik's been injured. Okay. November 18th. Not a whole lot of time. Hayek, sorry. Keandre's now this is depth. Who goes in? Begris. We got Keen too. This guy does have some potential, so I might want to use him as depth. Gross has a little bit, but he's already 22. I'll put this guy in there. Oh, come on now. Actually, you know what? Get foot as an extra attacker. There we are. All right. Come on, guys. Win more. Ugh. Yeah, defense is really faltered, I feel like. And it could be the change I made. could also be coincidence. It could also be just us kind of falling back down to where we should be. Quote, unquote, should. Don't know. Hmm. I want to see those goals go back up, though, for sure. We start off so good, but... Uh... Oh, God damn these injuries, man. Come on. These are rough right now. Well, that's why we got Forbert. Up in there, bud. Come on, New York. We need, the, we need to get back on the winning side of things. Jeez, man. Oh, my God. Three losses in a row. I think I really those changes really fucked us, man. Oh, yeah. Those changes had to have fucked. Look at this. We start off so good. And we're still kind of scoring a decent chunk, but I really think our defense took a massive hit from that change I made. It just, it just, I, how do you really argue with the results there? I, I can't. I really can't. So, Nakis, you're going to have to fucking deal with it, dude, because we need to make the playoffs. This is not, we can't miss. We're in fourth. We're still, we're still within striking range. Luckily, the division's not off to a good start, but I can't abide by that. I'm, I'm seeing, no, what I'm, what I'm looking at, no, not okay. Come on, guys. Need some dubs here. Get that defense back cracking. There you go. Jilson's fully healed. It's good for us. Come on now. <sighs> Damn it. Got four goals for, but we're giving up so many now. Jesus Christ. 500 team. 
a 500 team. Honestly, I'm expect I was expecting better. I really was. So what's the issue? Are we just not scoring again? No, we're scoring a decent chunk. Uh, we could be scoring more, yeah, but not keeping the puck out of the net. Oh, power play is fucking atrocious. Penalty kill's fine. What? Power play is just absolute dog shit, though. No, no clue why. I, you'd you'd think, man. Hoffman, line eight minutes too. I gotta put Andernoff back up there probably. <sighs> Jesus Christ, man. I hate when we start off freaking amazing and then we just suck. Byfield. You know they're all pretty hefty pluses. Byfield especially. Second line. Not enough. I'm gonna I'm gonna switch. I can't really put Kravtsov up there. I gotta yeah. We gotta make a trade. We're gonna make a trade. Toffoli's gonna be out. We're gonna make a trade. I, it's it's gotta happen. Andronov could be doing really well if he had another hybrid slash goal scorer with him, but Toffoli just is not gonna get the job done. Kravtsov shoots a lot, but he dropped back down to an 81. He was boosted by stat growth. It ain't working. Power play production is in the toilet as well. Like Toffoli isn't on the power play. Yeah, we all... Andronov doesn't have a single power play point. I think I got to get him back on that first unit. Screw Hoffman. Andronov did well in that first unit last year. Yeah, we can score more. We're not, we're not doing bad, but... We could be doing way better. Why the fuck has Georgiev played 10 games? Okay, well, Shashorkin's not doing good, so it makes a bit more sense, but that's a lot of games played for Georgiev. Shlemko. Yeah, see, it's back to minor starting. Ha ha. Knew it. That's why I didn't call him up immediately. He lied. So, Sh uh, Shlemko's doing really good. So, we got to keep this going. Tang, Nakis is a minus two, Lindgren. So you're going to be demoralized a little bit. Lost a bit because of ice time. Doesn't like his individual performance either. I kind of got to leave him there, though. Where else can I put him? Nowhere, really. PK is doing well. I can't really justify switching up the PK. I can justify switching up the power play because it is shitting the bed right now. <sighs> we got to find a good combination for it, really. That's what it comes down to. So Hoffman's got to come off the top unit. I'm going to put Andronov on there. Try him out. Yeah, get Andronov on there. Lina Hughes Andronov. Elias Anderson doing 82 now. Jeez, man. All those guys we thought were kind of doing well. Like, we're really all boosted by stat growth. Which kind of sucks. Got him on the point because he shoots a lot. We'll get Hoffman on the one time because he shoots a lot. Leave Byfield there. He's an 88. Listed as second line. Eichel did grow a bit, so I'll leave him where he is. But yeah, I think uh, we need we need a better second liner right here. Could have got Huber Huberto would have been pretty decent. I mean, Hoffman doesn't shoot a whole hell of a lot, but enough. He shoots enough, man. He's just getting like 250 shots, maybe. What's his average? Yeah. Uh, yeah. 200 to 250. So he shoots enough, man. Huberto would have been good. But again, I also didn't want to make things too easy. So I, w I really wanted to trade. So we're going to try to trade to Foley. Retain on that contract for sure. I think we need to trade to Foley. Need a better second liner. I might take a look at Kyle Connor. They're still looking to move guys. Uh, never mind. All right. Capitals aren't doing too good. They don't want to move anyone, though. Oh, wait. Okay, no, he's still there. 
There is Ovi. He's a rental option. Or just grab him now option. Put him on my... F well, I can't really put him on the top. Power play, though. He's on the power play, too, on their team. I wonder what his overall is. I might assign my uh, pro scout to, to figure him out. Oh, he's extended. Oh, it's one year. But still, he's extended. It's not really rental. All right, any other rental options? Mm, damn. I was hoping to look at uh, Pittsburgh. Crosby's not even that declined. He's only, yeah, next year he'll be the rental option, but I don't know if he'll decline that heavily. All right, these guys have Hurdle. Now, I was uh, I was told Hurdle could be pretty dang good. And we don't know anything about him. I'll probably assign a scout to him. Three years on that contract. Yeah, it's pretty solid. But I think he's like 84, 85, so it's not amazing. And is he not playing? Hmm. That's not too impressive to me. There's Dutchie there. Eberly, 85 overall, one year left. No, that's Bailey. What the hell am I talking about? That's Bailey. He's got 13 points to 22 games played. It's a two-way forward, left winger. He's also got power play time. Not a whole lot. Both him and Eberly on one-year deals. Nothing great here. Oh, Singh. Two years left. Elite. Can he change potentials? Looks like he might have. And this guy's a right wing playmaker. He would do great on that second line. Other than that, I'm not seeing a whole lot on the block here. Oh, hello. Minnesota ain't doing too good. Not looking to move anyone by the looks of it. All right, no one here to move. Really? These guys are looking to move Dadden off. Mm, I think that's too low now. Oh, yeah, four years left. Nope. First line listing, yep. Yeah, it's going to have to be something quite specific. Yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to do some exploring, but I definitely... Th I, yeah, I'm, I'm going to move him. Gave him one more chance. It's clear he ain't going to do anything like he did uh, when he was here er earlier. So, need to move him. Ovechkin could work because when we could go Byfield, Hoffman. But Hoffman would really have to rack up the goals because Byfield's not a shooter either. Looks like Hughes isn't a pure shooter right now either, so that's good for us. I mean, we wanted him to be more of a hybrid or playmaker. I just want him to produce, honestly, just get hella production. So if we did move to Foley, we could put Hoffman on the one time Byfield down and get Ovechkin. He is extended for one year, but we'll be losing Hoffman next year. So likely, likely be losing Hoffman next year. So, I mean, it could work if we did go for Ovi. It really could. And then we could have Ovi Hughes line A. The only problem with that I see is that, you know, there's no real pure playmaker there. But it could maybe work. And if it doesn't, we could always move Byfield back up and have Ovi on the second line and, and figure it out from there. But that is an option. And it's an it's a very cheap option. We can give him to Foley plus retention and other assets easily. And they should go for it. So that might be a good idea. I I can make that trade immediately or scout him a bit, scout some other guys a bit. You guys can let me know, but I don't want to fall much further down. So if we're going to shake things up, I think it's got to be kind of right now. I, I We're at 500 after starting 6-1-1. One one. So it's it's bad. 
and I want to get this team going. I do not want to miss the playoffs again. We cannot miss the playoffs this year. I'm putting my foot down. We need to do everything possible to make the playoffs this year. So shaking things up like that, get a veteran. I think it's something that we got to do. So all right, guys, that'll do it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember, leave that like, and I'll see you in the next one. If watching my videos just isn't enough sin for you, be sure to go over there on Twitter and shoot me a follow, and you could even join our Discord server as well to talk with some of the other sinners out there. The links to both are in the description.